All right, guys. So today we're going to break into something uh, that I think is pretty fun, pretty engaging. Um, strange, there's like a resurgence, like in probably in the last five to seven years of just simplified art, like pixel art um, in like video games and pop culture. Um, I know a lot of the, like one of the games you guys are playing right now that probably uses pixels is Among Us. So uh, we're going to start working with just creating some uh, basic pixel art. Today is a play day. So you can honestly, you can make whatever you want. I'm not going to judge. I'm just looking for you to maybe experiment and play with the tools a little bit. Um, so we're going to go into this program and it's amazing. It's uh, called Pixel Art and it's a free um it's like a free pixel art program, but it's really, it's, it's a really strong program. There's also a social side of it, which I'm not too big a fan of. Um, it's kind of like a social media art side. Um, and it's also like a shop. So that's probably how the website makes their money is through selling stuff that you make and stuff. And you don't have to log in. I did. I signed up. Um, you can sign up or you don't have to sign up. Um, if you just want to, play around with the tools. You don't have to sign up for anything. So, um, yeah, but just understand there is a social side of this, which I don't endorse. I'm just looking purely at the art side. Um, so yeah, so we're going to come here and we're going to go for me. I, lo I would log in cause I have an account, but, um, I'm just going to go to start drawing and guys, I'm not a master at this program. Um, I am, I would say beginner to intermediate. So I'm not necessarily um, like an expert with what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you kind of what I know. And then, you know, if you want to learn more, awesome. Um, so we're going to come in here. It says you didn't save. Uh, I don't know. This isn't. I've disabled the auto save. So whatever. So you can set that or not. So we're going to go. I guess I was drawing before and there are these little pop-up advertisements, which gets super annoying, but you know, that's kind of the price we pay for free stuff. So, um, if you've ever worked with Photoshop, um, this is kind of similar in a lot of ways to like a Photoshop program, I think is what, which is what makes it so strong. Um, cause it is, you know, it's familiar. We have layering, we have colors, default colors, this stuff, uh, is for adjusting and moving layers. We'll go over that, but base, and there's a lot here. So, um, yeah, there's a lot guys to go over. So we're just going to start over here. We have drawing tools, pencil, eraser, brush tool, line tool, circle, square, paint bucket, dropper. So pencil pretty, you know, oh, you know what guys? So let's go back real quick. So I'm going to go to a new because it didn't ask me this because I started. This is where um, we select our essentially our board for how many pixels we're going to be using. For this one, I want you to use 50 by 50. There's smaller, like meaning it's basically like the height and the width. So up and down, there's 50 pixels. Across, there's 50. Here's 32, 100. There's, you can get up into like some real high pixel uh, amounts. Um, but for us, we're just going to start with 50 by 50. So we'll just actually go to new drawing. I'm going to clear that. So there's my 50 by 50 board. So if we counted these squares up, it'd be 50. Crossed, it'd be 50. Um, anyway, back to pencil. So pencil, pretty straightforward, right? Uh, we have brush. This tool is kind of fun the way that it works. Um, I haven't figured out a way to change the size of this. I don't know if you can, but it does kind of add different colored pixels to give like an interesting effect. Let's switch the color real quick. Down here is colors, guys. You can switch. You can have two on your palette. Uh, if we click on them, we can be sp more specific in the color that we're selecting. Let's go to select color. See how that changed. Now we can swap so we can work with two colors at a time. Also, we have a bunch down here, defaults. Uh, so if I click that, that'll change one of those. Um, but yeah, this brush tool is pretty fun. I don't, I mean, I use it a little bit. I haven't used it a lot, but um, I think it's pretty cool. 
These are so shape tools, obviously line tools, just create lines and shapes. Um, paint bucket. If you want to fill in an area, let's pick another color. Let's go here. Oh, you can also adjust the bar to pick a color. Let's pick a line, like maybe there. What color? Swap that. So we're going to grab the paint bucket, and then if we click, it'll fill in um, empty areas, empty space. Notice it looks like some of these are empty, but they're actually not. Let's see what happens when we click down here. Oh, there we go. Filling in empty space. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, paint bucket, eyedropper. This is fun. If you've never used any uh, photo editing or like Photoshop-ish programs, eyedropper is literally going to take whatever color I click on and put it down in one of our little boxes. So so if you forget what color you used, just use the eyedropper and select the color. Haven't used move tool, select tool, haven't used, I haven't used text, light darken. Those are tools you can play with. I didn't want to get too in depth because I don't want to overwhelm you. Stamp tool, stamp is cool, but I prefer if you don't use stamp because people use stamp and just create a whole art piece using stamps. And I'd rather you create something that's terrible but unique more than something amazing that is essentially just a bunch of stamps but stamps guys they're just you know they are what they are i don't really i would prefer if you didn't use them is basically what i'm saying gradient haven't used crop tool haven't used um yeah so that's basically it um as far as tools go okay now we have layers layers are important but they're also can be a bit confusing if you've never used layers. So when I work in a drawing, I'll do like a background layer, a middle layer, and then a front layer, kind of how we've been working with this 3D project essentially, but just on a digital space. So right now that is our background, okay? Um, so if we want to create a new layer, say we want to add something on top of this, but keep this intact, uh, like we don't want to erase it or whatever, um, we're gonna add a layer, okay? So this is the layer we are on. Um, so we can select which layer. Notice um, if I work on layer one, let's just do a quick pencil thing. And then I go to erase it. Watch what happens. It's not gonna erase whatever is in the background layer, okay? So I'm just erasing the middle layer. So I created a middle layer. I don't know if you can rename these. Like in Photoshop, you can rename. I've worked in Photoshop and had like 30 or 40 layers going on an art piece because, you know, typically when we're working in Photoshop, we're using a multiple, like multiple layers, like a lot, not just three, but like a bunch of different layers to add enhancements. Anyway, so that's how layering works. I'd try to probably keep it at three layers when you're working. Um, a background, a middle, and a front. We can add another layer. Layer two, layer one, and background. We can also move a layer up. So notice how that changed where the layer is in space. Um, layers, guys, can be a little confusing. I get it. When I first started using Photoshop and stuff, it was really hard. And I'd have to be really specific with what I named layers because if I didn't, I'd forget what layer was what, what and how it worked. And anyway, um, oh, looks like. We can fade a layer too. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, you can like lighten a layer up if you want to. Um, it's really like unlimited really what you can do with this. Um, so yeah, today I just want you to play around, okay? Uh, I don't want you to take it too seriously. We'll get into more serious stuff um, for my remote kids next week. For the kids in class, I don't know if we will because I don't know when we'll be finished with our project. Lastly, and this is important, okay, saving. So I ran into a problems last spring when I was teaching this because I couldn't really figure out how to save. And then a lovely lady on YouTube kind of was like, hey, do this. And I was like, great. So now I kind of have a better grasp on the better way to save. One of the things though, guys, you should probably save it. If you're working on something, save it as a pixel file that'll keep i believe i'm about 90 percent it'll keep your layers intact as a save file so actually let's just try it let's just get out of here and try it so we're gonna file clear so we're gonna clear this 
file. Now we're gonna go open, maybe. Yeah, so I opened, I already saved a file as a Pixar file. Where did it go? Gotta find that bad boy. Oh, let's see. Excellence, there it is. So let's, I don't know if I had layers in this, actually. Oh, so let's add a layer. Okay, we're gonna go, oh, we wanna draw, we don't wanna erase. We're gonna go paintbrush. Now what the heck, come on, there we go. So we're gonna, that's our layer. We have our background. Oh, we can hide these too. Oh, I don't know what that did. I don't know why it's doing that. Ignore what I just did. Um, like I said, guys, I'm not like a, a master at this program. Um, so we're going to, so we have two layers. Now we're going to file, we're going to save excellence number two. Boom. Well, this video is a lot. Uh, I don't know where that's saved, but what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to put it right under excellence one. Okay. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Now I'm gonna file clear. Okay. Now we're gonna go to file open, open pixel file desktop. And we have to find excellence too. There it is. Now let's see what happens. Boom. So it saved my layers. I've saved it before and it hasn't saved layers. So if you're working on something unfinished, um, and you want to keep working on it save it as a as a pixel file so save as pixel okay if you don't you'll have to probably start over or you're you'll lose your layers um but when you really want to keep the thing when you're done and you're good to go um i want you to go to file this is how we'll keep keep uh we're essentially going to enlarge the file a little bit so we can see it because if you don't enlarge it it's a tiny little image. So what I want you to do when you're done with your work, I want you to go to download. Okay, this is important. When we download, we're going to select the size and the layers. So we're going to go to size. I want you to select 500. Okay, 500. I don't know what that means, but I'm just essentially enlarging an image to be 500 pixels, which is not this tiny little thing. It's a larger image. So we're going to go to download. And when I open it, when I open it, there we go, it's going to be a larger image. Okay. So when you save it, I want you to download it and then save it. Okay. Uh, here's what happens if we don't save it like large. Okay. If we save it at the size that we created it, we're going to go to download. Watch what happens. It's this tiny little file because like, I think they're referencing like pixels like on a screen essentially um i don't know but anyway so that's what happens so save it as 500 by 500 that's a good size okay or download it and then save it as 500 by 500. um i hope this helps uh there's a lot more to this i just wanted to give you a very basic run no, i guess not basic but it, you know just a general rundown so if you have questions please reach out to me we can always work together and uh you know i can help you individually but otherwise it's just play time just play today this video is kind of long so you don't even have to play for that long you know like 20 30 minutes at most um otherwise guys have a great friday peace out